What you're about to watch is two large language models battling it out in the game of Street Fighter 3, which is one of the best video games of all time. And they are making decisions in real time in the game, and this is a new way to test large language models against each other. It is so cool. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, and I'm also gonna show you how to set this up yourself. So this is called LLM Coliseum. It was made by Stan Gerard and the team at Quiverbrain, which is an amazing project in itself. And basically you can power Street Fighter 3 characters with large language models and see how they do. And they have all the information about the different moves. And when you're actually watching the fights, they look really good. They're countering, they're blocking, they're jumping. Super impressive. And it's so cool to run it on your machine. And not only that, you could power it locally as well. Okay, so what you're watching now is Red Ken, which is Mistral Small, versus Green Ken, which is Mistral Medium. And all the moves that you're watching are all determined in real time by each of the respective large language models. And what seems to make a huge difference in which large language model wins is actually the speed. And I think that's why we're seeing some of the smaller models winning more often than the larger, more powerful models. All right, and there we go. That is Mistral Small, the Red Ken, just one. Now, let me show you how to install it. And this is a completely open source project. I'll drop the link to it in the description below. And if we scroll down, they are proposing this as a new way to test large language models. And I don't know what it's actually testing, but it's really cool to me. And here are the ELO rankings. So right now, surprisingly, OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo is actually winning, even beating out GPT 4. And so the criteria as they propose is a large language model needs to be fast. So it's a real time game, fast decisions are key, and I think Grok will obviously have a huge advantage there. It needs to be smart, so it needs to not only think about the current move, but also multiple moves ahead. It has to have out-of-the-box thinking to outsmart your opponents with unexpected moves. It needs to be adaptable, and it needs to be resilient. So, I mean, this is a really cool way to test large language models. Here's a video with six running at the same exact time. And here's the win rate matrix. So all the different models compared to all the other models and how often they win. And here's an explanation of how it works. So we have the general game engine and we have the game observation. It makes observations, takes the game engine, takes the goal, creates a system prompt, prompts the LLM, asks what the next move is, and then gets the next move. And then uses that to make the move. And we're using a ROM and an emulator to do this. And the emulator supports a bunch of other fighting games as well. So I hope they add more games because Dead or Alive is one of my favorite games of all time. All right, let me show you how to install it now. It's pretty in depth, but I really didn't run into any issues at all. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is open up VS Code and just get ready to clone the repository. Then you're gonna open the repo, you're gonna click this little green code button and you're gonna copy the repo URL. Switch back to VS Code, CD to your desktop or wherever else that you wanna store this project. And you're gonna type git clone and then the project URL, hit enter. Okay, now we're gonna CD into it, LLM Coliseum. And the next thing we need to do is get the emulator working. So we're gonna be using this project called diambra.ai, which is the emulator and I believe it allows you to plug in your AI with it. And look at this, it supports Dead or Alive, Street Fighter 3, Tekken, Mortal Kombat, uh, Samurai Showdown, I've not heard of that, and some others. So here's what we're gonna do. We need to install it. The first thing you need to do is just register on the website. It is free, it takes a couple clicks, you have to verify your email address. And you need that information for later because we're gonna log in through the console, so you do have to do that. Then you need to make sure you have Docker. So you can easily install Docker if you don't already have it. Go to docs.docker.com slash engine slash install, and then choose the relevant Docker desktop version for your operating system. Then once you have it open, Open, you'll see this little Docker icon in your task bar. Next, we're gonna create a new Conda environment. So we're gonna type Conda create dash N LLMC, so LLM Coliseum, Python equals 3.10, and then hit enter. Now, I already have one with that name, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace it so I can show you it working again, but you won't get that warning. Okay, proceed. And then we're gonna copy this, we're gonna activate. So Conda activate LLMC, all right? And you can see it's active because it says so right there. Next, we're gonna do which Python. We're gonna grab this. This is the current Python version we're working with. Copy it, paste it, space dash M, and then pip install diambra dash arena, and then hit enter. 
Now, just to make sure it's working, you're gonna type Diambra Arena List ROMs and then hit enter. And this takes a little bit of time, but you would probably get an error right away if it wasn't working. All right, there, and we can see the different games, the different characters of each game and so on. So it does work, perfect. Now we need to download the ROM. So I realized while we were editing this video, I can't actually show you where to download this ROM without taking a chance of having my video taken down because it's illegal for you to download this ROM if you don't actually own the physical game and have it in your house. But if you have the game, please go find the ROM and download it and then the rest of this tutorial will work perfectly. From there, you're gonna create a folder .diambra and you're gonna do that in your user folder. So mine is Matthew Berman and then .diambra and then within that, you're going to create a ROMs folder and then put the ROM, the .zip file in there. And we don't need to unzip it, we just place it there and it's done, you just leave it there. And again, you have to own it. All right, next, from the LLM Coliseum folder, we are going to do pip install dash r requirements.txt and that'll install the LLM Coliseum requirements. All right, there, it's done. Now we're gonna click this little button in the top left and we're gonna open folder, select desktop, and then open the LLM Coliseum folder so we can see the code. And just in case the Conda environment got reset, which it did for me, we're gonna do Conda activate LLMC again. So now we're in the right environment again. Now, you're gonna look for the file that says .env.example, you're gonna right click on it, and we're going to rename it to just .env. So click on that, and now we need some API keys. So what we're gonna test today is OpenAI and Mistral. So you do need API keys from both of those companies. So let's do that now. All right, so I'm on platform.openai.com slash API keys. I'm gonna create a new key, LLMC underscore YT. And yes, I am going to revoke this before publishing. Let's copy, switch back. I'll enter it right here and save. Then we need a Mistral key. So if you don't already have one, of course, please create one. Console.mistral.ai slash API dash keys, create new key. Same thing, LLMC underscore key. I'm gonna copy that. And yes, once again, I am gonna revoke that. So we've saved both of them. Now there's a little bit more that we have to do. So we're gonna open up the demo.py file. We're gonna scroll down and it comes with two models by default, and we're gonna change these. So I'm gonna leave one as Mistral, and I'm gonna call it Mistral, and then the other one I'm gonna to switch to OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo. And so for the second one, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this with that, and I'm gonna say this is GPT 3.5 and then save. And so when you use the demo.py file, it'll basically just put these against each other. And I think that's it. The next thing we have to do is just make demo. And the first time you do this, you may need to log into Diambra and it'll ask you for that username and password that you use to sign up for the website. So I've already done that. I don't know if it's gonna ask me again. No, it doesn't look like it's going to, but you might have to do that. And so it does take about 30 seconds to spin up the ROM and the emulator. Okay, it says starting game, so it should pop up any second now. All right, and there it is. Let's make it a little wider. Awesome. All right, let's see who wins. I think green is Mistral and red is OpenAI, so let's see. And we can actually watch all of the different moves. Yeah, so green is OpenAI and red is Mistral. Okay, and there it goes. So. I mean, it, it's super impressive, I can't get over it. And right now they only have one character, you can use Ken, so I'm hoping they'll add more characters, I'm hoping they'll add more games, but of course, this is just a side project for them. Their main project is Quiver, and it's a great project, I encourage you to check that out. So when it finishes, it kind of freezes for a second, and then it'll give you the exit winning screen. Okay, and there we go, Mistral won. So I've seen this every single time, and that's the founder of Mistral, very funny exit screen. So that's it, how cool is that? That. Try it out. Let me know what you think. If you liked this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.